Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. We still have three greater of keystones to run through, um, so we're going to be hmm, taking advantage of that. And of course my homebrew. Uh, we're using the uh, Nemesis Braces now, uh, so it should be okay. Uh, things should move a little bit faster, but um, yeah, a little bit faster is not going to be much faster. We're working on getting our legendary gems up to 45, uh, which on the destroyer objectives will only leave us then seasonal uh, cubist in order to finish things off. Let's hop in and we'll get started right away with this. I need those stacks to build up quickly so we can kill things quickly. Okay, that worked well for being able to kill things, but uh, I really need to get back into Archon form soon. There we go, back in Archon form. We still haven't yet gained a level. But it won't take long for us to push that over. There's the level, so we can hop straight back in. And now we're double dipping, we get all the benefits of huge numbers of stacks. And there's the Nemesis Braces really helping us out. I mean, that could end up saving us a ton of time across some of these uh, these rifts. Nice big packs. That's what I love taking on. It's also really nice when Cormac stays alive, actually. Yeah, let's go kill the things that are actually worth killing. Man, they went so fast. Right, back we go. More? I will happily take on more. Now, of course, we don't need to keep activating slow time. Um, I like having it on, uh, but it's not necessary for us to get the damage bonus from Bane of the Traps because we're already putting out our own little field. So, in effect, these things are getting double slowed, although I think only the stronger one actually takes effect when it's uh, affecting movement speed. This is not a bad rift in terms of arrangement. is actually super fast. I do wish that with the, with the rifts you could have the option to turn on a running timer so you know how you're doing. I mean obviously you can see it down there but having an indicator like that compared with a clock it's, it's quite a difference. Alright, binder. Binder's not going to be around for long. Spider is gone. 10 minutes 48. And that's actually a personal best. Great. Alright, we'll grab all of this. 
And we will put the points into Tagurk. I need to go back. Now obviously we've got quite a bit to ID. We are very close to gaining a level, so what I might do is I might switch over to the general speed run and see if it no, no, we'll we'll try and do a two minute one like this, actually. Uh, right, so in terms of stuff that we got, we got uh, Town Rash's offhand. Uh, we got Town Rash's legs. So those are great. Uh, Selenium, pretty certain we've already got one of these. Yep, there it is. Spalder's immediately below it. Homing pads are new. Yeah, they're new. Uh, Archmage's uh, account, we've already got one. And the Broken Crown, we've already got one. So these can just get salvaged up. Alright, let's equip this speedrun run. Salvage. Gone, 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 gone. Put our points in. Yeah, we did not get many level specific oh that's why it helps if you actually turn it in okay let's try and do a speed run regular rift and then we'll go back to greater rifting No, nope, this is almost certainly not going to be enough. Just because the layout's a bit pants. I mean, we're going to keep hurrying around, but without packs to kill. There's not going to be a great deal I can do about it. There we go. This is a bit better. A bit better, but I mean... Again, still needing more. I've only got 30 seconds left. Just not enough. Fifteen seconds. And we are out of time, man. It is going to be so difficult. I mean, we didn't see any pylons or shrines or anything in there. Even just getting the Rift Guardian to spawn, you think you're doing well because of the, the layout, and there's just not enough in there. Alright, well, I mean, it was, it was nice while it lasted. Let's head back. We'll hand it in. Oh, jeez, no. Yeah, this is going to end up being three minutes by the time it's done. Three minutes in the end. Just looking at my little clock down in the side. Worth trying. 
May as well run back and try and grab as many death breaths as we can. Although there wasn't actually any um things to kill in. Oh, there's a couple. I should have gone into the other area. Okay, well, we're pretty close to another level, so we could try that again. But I think we'll uh, we'll go back to our regular regular schedule. Now with even more greater of keystones, so great rift. Uh, can't afford to empower it. Here we go. Get right into the middle of the wall. No, we can't get knocked back now, of course. Uh, it's fine. It's it's going to be rarely that it happens, and it's going to be worth it for the offset of the extra mobs to kill. We knew it was going to be potentially problematic, but. As a tactical decision, I stand by it. Hello. Why, thank you for coming to visit. Back into our conform. Pretty much as soon as we step out of it, we're back in. Four hundred and fifty five. I am loving it so much. Hey, Mr. Raven is dead. Now we could put the difficulty up, of course, and uh, start punching even higher. Um, but until our gems reach that point where we need to to keep the 100% it's probably not worth it um, just on the on the casual risk for when we're in between Archon mode I mean we will level up faster that is guaranteed but risk versus reward it's just not there it was worth it pushing for GR70 because you know I'm a cocky bastard Going, we're actually going down here. Hello. Allow me to explode right in your face. Or, you know, Cormac can pull you across. Across the map, far away from me. This will get the Rift Guardian out. Wow, that's just like crazy amounts of damage. Grab all the stuff. Still no more primal ancients, but uh, the drop rate is incredibly low. This is going to actually take it to 45, 45, 45. There we go. Insane in the gem brain. We are going to want to keep leveling these up. Um, so we're not going to stop. Uh, but it's, uh, it's worth saying, yay. Mm. <laughs> And having a bit of celebratory beer. 
Okay, so IDing as always, points in critical hit damage, life, area damage, and intelligence. Another puzzle ring. Okay. Well, I mean, I did say we were going to go and kill Greed. We could just go twice. <laughs> we could just go twice. Right, gold skin. Uh, we do have one. That can go. Squirts we've already got one of. Rakos glass of life is definitely in one of my piles somewhere. Yeah, there it is. And the furnace, we've seen that we've got that. So these can all get salvaged up. In fact, before we salvage, Kadala. Disappoint me some more with some echoing fury. That's just going to go. Right. Gone, gone. Gone, 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 gone. Let's do our first greed run. And I will drop those off. Okay. So this is going to stock us up with quite a bit of cash. Although it's only Torment 10. Damn it, that's a mistake. I should have put it up to Torment 13. Oh well. We'll just kill everything at this level. I mean, it's still going to be a lot of money. It's just it's not going to be obscenely, obscenely large amounts. It's just going to be mostly obscenely large amounts. We started with 40 million. We're already up to 58. Plans. I mean, I I love all the extras that we're getting from this. Okay. Let's save our Archon form until we actually get in there. Huh? I would have thought I'd be able to shoot across there. Apparently not. All right, we're not going to save the Alcon Fall. Let's just properly hammer it up. Too risky with mobs around. We are still a glass cannon after all. I wonder if we'll be able to get her woken up in time. Oh yeah, that was easy. <laughs> Nothing to worry about at all. Okay, a ring, two-handed sword. Um, let's let's go back to town. In fact, no, let's um, let's up the difficulty and we'll do that again. Because that really wasn't the uh, the ultra amazing cash gain that it should have been. So, taking this, in the meantime, we can teach you Knight's Reaping. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll sort them out later. That point goes into life. And I think we are ready for another run. Oh, yes. And down for the last ones. 
That was awesome. I mean, how many death press did we get from that? That's made this entire trip worthwhile. I mean, the trip was going to be worthwhile anyway, because it's basically free stuff. But that was so freaking cool. Alright, well, we'll kill a few more things while we've got this Archon mode. And then we'll head back to town while we sort out our inventory. I'm so happy about all that stuff. All right. Let's very quickly ID stuff. I wasn't expecting to pick up anything, otherwise I would have uh, emptied out all my belongings. All right. These go. Uh, we have a compass rose. Now we've got two spares. Uh, Kimbo's gold, 93%. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Scourge, I don't think we've already got one. So I guess we'll keep it. Scourge isn't a bad weapon. Thunder Gods, we've definitely got a spare of. 166 million in cash. That's really a lot more of what I was looking for. Ah, cool, another one. Ah, oh, that angle is terrible. Two of them escaped because that was a bit pants on my side. Also, we didn't quite have the cooldown, but I spent way too long focusing on the ones up here. And I think the uh, the lightning just wasn't reaching them. got all the money. That's really why we came in here. Uh, is it going to be worth waking her up? No. No, we're going to we're going to wait. Waiting is definitely the sensible thing. She's so peaceful though. I love the little goblins on her back. All right. So the reason I popped that explosive blast there is it's going to give us a little bit of damage reduction right at the start, but it's also going to be hugely useful for increasing our damage output a little bit as well. There we go. So, what did we get this time? Well, we got Money Ain't a Thing. Uh, we kind of expected that was going to be on the cards. Uh, let's head back to town. And we got ooh, some things that we haven't seen before. Alright, well, let's... Let's drop off the gems, at least. ID the bits and bobs. Crossbone can get salvaged. Fragment of Destiny, that's new. Tal Rasha's Relentless Pursuit. That is pretty fancy. Let's swap that over. Keep that. Slorix Madness. I don't think we have that. Do we have space for it though? 
we might have to do some jiggery pokery. I keep saying uh, Zhongjiang uh, Do in the queue, but it's in Geom in the queue. I always get those two confused. Uh, Burning Axe of Sankus, that can get salvaged up. So yeah, it's just about the Slorax my madness. Uh, let's, let's just put it here for the moment. It'll be fine. So gone, gone, and gone. Right, we are really, really close to getting another level, so we could try another speed run. Fingers crossed, everyone. Okay, let's watch my timer. Here we go. It's not the right kind of area. Also, we're at Torment 13, so this is a stupid idea. I very much doubt we would manage it to Torment 13, even if we had the right area for it, and this is not the right area for it. I mean, I'm still going to carry on with it, of course, because it's important. But we're not going to be doing it in in time. We've already been a minute. So, yeah. I mean, at least with the um, Nemesis Braces, we are getting a lot of mobs to kill. And it's not terrible in terms of like how fast it's going, it's just it's not fast enough. too slow. Way, way, way too slow. We will get there in the end. I mean, it might take us quite a while. Completely optimise our gear type thing. Maybe even switch over to um, Chandotto stuff so we're exploding even more at mobs as we move around. Also called a summoning pylon. Right, this is not the way we need to go, so let's try and head back. Surprising how much those uh, um, Crelm's buff braces actually do make a difference um, to the way the build was playing before. Because I am getting knocked back quite significantly by mobs. Uh, especially while we're at this um, lower state, you know, in non Archon form. There we go. They are dead dead and buried and we're gonna head back to town significantly slower than two minutes 
partly because of the difficulty and partly because it just wasn't a great thing. Although we did apparently do uh, it fast enough for part of the Conqueror season journey, so I don't know how I feel about that. Good, I guess. Let's get that ID'd and we'll put these points in just over here. All right, Twisted Sword and Scourge. Twisted Sword and Scourge. You know what, let's... Let's get a second one of these for hammering stuff out. So that, that, and that. And we don't need Scourge in there because we've already got one. Then I can get round to it whenever. So gone. And just before we go, Kadala, give me some disappointment, please. Well, it's nice, but no. Nice, but no. Uh, right, one last thing. Let's have a look and see what I need to reforge a legendary. It takes five of each, so we are going to have to run some rifts in order to... Well, we, no, we're going to have to run some, some bounties. Um, but we need to do that uh, for the uh, seasonal cubist so we actually get the materials for that um, but that is going to be next time uh, thank you very much for coming along everyone I hope you all continue to enjoy it we're up to Garrigan level 465 and we are going to keep hammering and trying at that two minute rift uh, we will get there eventually if you are enjoying these videos be sure to give a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel you should do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live otherwise I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 3. See you soon.